I could not get over was at the level that Janet operated. She had so much stamina, stamina, and it was just on a whole nother level. She started out in this huge purple Handmaid's Tale cape. All I could think about was Handmaid's Tale, uh, eyes wide shut. And I said, I hope that's not what she dancing in the whole time. <laughs> But it was so like dramatic. And I said, I know that cape is coming off. And sure enough, that cape came off. And y'all, when I tell you, Janet got ba dunk a dunk for days. There is no hiding that booty. Janet got that country mama booty. I loved it. And, and the way she danced was like, do you guys know that? I think, I don't know if it's pronounced hit or height. High interval intensity training, where you start out slow, then you do like 45 seconds to a minute of fast, then you go back to slow. That's what that reminded me of with her dancing because she would start off very sexy, the walk, very sexy. And then all of a sudden, 45 seconds to a minute, Janet was just like, boom, 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 boom. And I mean, she was just, she was going. And then she'd stop and then she'd switch back off stage. You know, she'd be sexy and she'd walk back off the stage. And I swear to God, I was like, does Janet have an oxygen tank back there? Cause <laughs> she'd be off and she had four male dancers who danced with her and it got so sexy with the dancers. And there was, you know that, you, if you are a Janet fan and have been her concerts, you know there's the one where she ties up the person to the chair. And so, of course, she did not disappoint, but Janet got freaky as she got older. That's what I, that's what I like. Because her hands are like the Black Widow. It was like, it was, it was tiptoeing, 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 and then it grabbed something. <laughs> And it was this little eight-year-old girl who was sitting next to me. It was her first concert. And so I'm looking at her on the jumbotron, grabbing it. And I said, I hope the baby don't know what's going on here, boy. <laughs> but she, she, was, she brought two um, super fans on stage to dance with her. They knew the choreography. It was a man and a woman who danced with her. They came out later. Now, the woman looked like she could have been a choreographer, uh, John. The man, literally, the man, he just had on a big T-shirt and some jeans. It looked like he was selling popcorn. They was like, come on on stage <laughs> and come dance with Janet. But he knew all of the choreography, and he, he was so enthusiastic. Finally, they had to get up there and go, okay, sir, that's enough. You need to, you gotta go on back. But like literally, so he left, and I loved, I loved that Janet let her fans get on stage and dance with her. And then as I looked around the arena, it was packed, it was sold out that Janet Jackson can sell out arenas over multiple nights. I was so proud of her. And everybody at the concert, you know, how you have, you light your phone up and everybody's, you know, she was like, let me see those cell phones. Darn it, my battery went dead. <laughs> The whole time I'm lighting up my phone, you can't see nothing. <laughs> oh man, she, Janet, you did your thing on that stage. It was just like, it was so phenomenal what she did. And then after the show, we got to go back to meet her because Janet had given me tickets to come to her show. And now we were at section 141 and they told us that we had to walk to 103. Now going through a concourse, John, I've never seen John speed walk that fast. <laughs> to get us to where, because you know, the thing, everybody knew they had to go to section 103 and it was a mission. We had to get to Janet. And I want to say much love to everybody in New York City who kept giving me love and wanted to take pictures. But I learned from Queen Latifah, when you on a mission, you just got to keep going. So people, people were looking at me like I could hear, that look like Sherry Shepard. And I said, nope, Octavia Spencer. <laughs> when I tell you, Anybody that came up to me, they was like, Sherry, can I get a picture? I was like, I don't know who Sherry is, I'm Octavia. And I kept going. So I just want to say to the fans who didn't get a picture, Octavia Spencer apologizes to you. Uh, Cause I was just, I was like, I gotta get to Janet. I gotta get to her. So we finally, we got to the room that, that Janet has her, her, her you know, the, I guess you could call the VIPs in the room. And there were all of these people there, but y'all know I got facial blindness. So a lot of people I don't recognize. And a gentleman came up to me. It was Ralph Carter from Good Times. Michael, Michael yeah. from Good Times. Right there on the, right there on right there. Michael and, and they are friends to this day. They're very, very close. But I didn't recognize because I got this facial blindness. So I was just like, hey, how you doing? You want a picture? I'm Octavia. <laughs> and um, that was, that's Ralph Carter right there. And I, it was, my publicist, Simone Small, said, no, Sherry, that's Michael Evans from Good Times. And you know, like, I had to go give homage to Michael. And I went back up to him and I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just, I didn't know. 
You're Michael. And he's, and so he was one of the first ones in because he and, he and Janet, they went to school together on the set and they're very good friends to this day. Like, and so also I, I got a little bone to pick with Mr. Questlove. Questlove was in the room and I, and I saw him. He was talking to John and I said, oh, that's Questlove. Cause a lot of times when I don't know people, I'll say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Cause I'm not sure, but I knew. I said, that's Questlove. So when he came up to me, I said, hey Quest. And he goes, Amir. And I went, uh oh, uh oh, I messed up. So I went to my publicist and I said, I messed up bad. I messed up. Cause that's not Questlove. That's somebody named Amir. <laughs> and then she tells me, she says, well, Amir is his real name. And that's what he uses for his friends. And I said, don't nobody know all of that. <laughs> I don't know that's Amir. I know that's Questlove with the pick in his head. Like, and I'm like, I was so traumatized because I'm like, you are Questlove. And when he said Amir, he said like it was mad. And I was like, I was so, I was panicked because I said his name with the commitment of Questlove. <laughs> like, I don't know you, Amir. I don't go to none of your family picnics, Amir. <laughs> I don't know, like, we don't hang like that. And I'm like, you Questlove. And then so I was like, so you traumatized me. I just want to say that, Questlove. You traumatized me. I love you. But I saw uh, Alicia Silverstone was in the room as well. And so Alicia uh, Silverstone, I did a movie called Beauty Shop with Alicia Silverstone. And be, I don't assume that no, people know who I am. So I, I was trying to get her to remember who I was. And Alicia Silverstone is a very famous vegan. She's a, I don't know, a vegan vegetarian. She doesn't eat meat. And I told her, I said, you also brought your dog to the set and your dog was vegan. But I gave him some Italian sausage. Um, <laughs> and I told her I was sorry. She was smiling, but then she stopped smiling. So I don't know if she liked that. <laughs> Every vegetarian dog needs some Italian sausage. I don't, so then y'all, and so after we left the room, they finally took us to the door that Janet Jackson was in and we got to meet Janet. It was like 200 people waiting to take a picture with Janet Jackson. And I said, now y'all know if you saw the show before how I acted a complete plum fool when she came on this show. She came out in the show, I just acted a fool, started crying, started hollering, started, look at that, screaming. I'm gonna pee on myself, just all this stuff. <laughs> and I said, and I said, Sherry, and I'm talking to myself as I'm walking through the door, I said, it is of paramount importance that you act like you got some scent. Cause you already, y'all didn't see, but Janet's eyes got a little wide when I came at her. And so I said, you gotta keep it cool because she's gotta know you got sense. You wanna get invited to the party. <laughs> so she, I walked in and she said, it's so good to see you again. And I said, yeah, girls, good to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> and that's the whole time. And she was like, how were you? How were you? And I was like, you know, you know how. Yeah, everything. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna mess this moment up. Janet gonna be like, I can invite her to the party. And I was like, so they told me, they said, well, they took the professional and they said I could take a selfie. And I, you know how you get your phone? And I get on everybody about these daggone selfies. I was like, where's the camera? The camera. <laughs> The camera would not come up on my cell phone and I'm swiping, then they wanted my passcode. I couldn't remember my passcode. And then I'm trying to put it in. I was like, what is it? Is it rough sex? One, two, three, four. What is the passcode to this? And then, and I said, Janet, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like my grandmama. And I could see the panic rising in her eyes. And then I finally got the camera and then it was on slow-mo. I had to get it. And I just said, Sherry, just breathe. Just take a breath. And I said, girl, we gonna get this selfie. And I went back. And then Janet, I think I scared a little bit because she went, what are you doing? <laughs> and I looked at her and said, they, they said I could take a selfie. You know what, well, we ain't gotta do nothing. <laughs> Just drop the camera. But then I got the selfie. <laughs> when I tell you, and then everybody got a picture in my, in, my, in my group. They got a picture with it. And we knew, keep it tight, sweet, get out. That's, how you don't, that's why you don't scare Janet Jackson. Then it was my publicist, Simone. My publicist, I've been with her. She's been, we've been together 11 years. She's amazing publicist. But she's a Janet super fan. So she goes to take the picture. She got the key on her earring. Oh, I said, okay, you're weird. You wearing the key on your earring. 
She got the key. That's my publicist, Simone Smalls. I love her. She gets the one picture. I turn to go, and she goes, Janet, you so beautiful. She didn't put the Janet Jackson cap on. She's like, you so beautiful. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. I was like, bitch, you not gonna cry. That's what you not gonna do. Wipe them tears up. I'm trying to get to the party. And she's like, and so Janet's like, she took a deep breath and she took two more pictures. And then I was just like, stop it. Don't cry. Because if you start crying, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> and we got out of there and Janet said, it was good. And I said, and I said, well, if you want to come sit on the couch, sis. <laughs> come on, I called her sis. I said, if you want to come sit on the couch, sis, come and we can have a lot of fun and do it. And so <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I believe her publicist is Paula Witt. Paula Witt helped coordinate things for us. Her and uh, Joey really helped me pull off the uh. surprise in December. And because I was home with the vid when Janet came the last time, I finally got to have my Janet moment too, so. You, you got to take your picture yes, with Janet. Yes. I'm so and John was supposed to, everybody took a singular picture, and John was supposed to take a single picture, and I stepped out, but then all I heard was, are you in the picture or not? It scared me. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to throw Janet off, so I stepped back into the picture <laughs> like that. But thank you so much, everybody who made this experience so amazing. And I don't know if Janet is sold out, but if she's in a town near you, run and get tickets to Back Together Again. <laughs> she is phenomenal, Janet Jackson.